Hello, I just got done cooking lunch. It's a little bit late. The kids are eating outside and it's a little bit warm. So I think I need to get outside to see what I can harvest from the garden. It is April 25 of 2020 and already I have things in the garden that I could harvest. So let me show you what I cook for lunch and then we will head outside. And I think the first things I will harvest will be garlic mustard. And here is, we like to call it wrap, but it's just egg roll. So I made the cross myself and we have meat inside. So, and I have, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have rhubarb pie in the oven for tomorrow. And I made the cross myself just oil and flour no oil flour and sugar so let me get uh <laughs> that one will be very toasty so let's get outside i have freezer bag that i ordered early this month and i have some the one that i empty when i use things out of the freezer I've been washing them, but I think I'm going to start with this one first. And let's get scissors here and a bucket. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a some, come home, wash it, chop it, put it in the um, bag. In fact, what I like to use for my chopping is this one. So probably what I will do is I might get those things off of it. Hopefully it will draw, it will cool off enough for me to use it when I'm back. Yeah, it's not warm. It's not hot. So let's head outside. So that's the good things with perennials and weeds, edible weeds. It's April. Now, many people are planting at this point in our area. We live in zone five, and that's the kids eating outside. We live in zone five A, and already I have things in the garden that I can harvest. I have onions here that I could harvest, but I think I'm going to work on the garlic bread. No, the garlic mustard, and that's weed, invasive weed, actually but it's going to flower and I have a quite a bit in the garden. And that's all those plants there and here. So pretty much you can see them. I can get you closer. And that's that. So, and they are edible. You can eat it like that, like spinach. And in fact, I even put it in salad too. So I'm not going to start with the inside of the garden. I'm going to start with outside. A lot of time what I like to do is I will strip the leaves off of the branch. But because the plant is quite low, I will just chop it off. And they are the one here as well. So I'm just going to put you down. And I'm just going to start harvesting. So, usually what I like to do is I'll just strip the leaves off of 
the plants and I'll just let it continue to grow and then I'll come and I'll do that but what I'm going to do to speed my process here let me shake a little bit and just in case there is bug on it I'm just going to cut it and make sure I don't have any other plants in the bunch that I have in my hand And I think it will just be easier, quicker for me to do that since I have so many and I'm trying to slow them down. Because when they seed, then they will propagate that way. So, and in fact, the seed are edible as well, like garlic moss, um, mustard seeds type. But I think that will be quite time consuming, harvesting those little seeds. But, you know, as you can see, that's greens here. You can just add it to whatever you are cooking. That requires some greens. And it tastes a little bit like garlic, so. And I'll add it to my salad when I make salad as well. And what I will do, I will wash, chop, and put in the bag for the freezer. So that's how I stock up for winter. And if I need to eat something, if I'm cooking something and I need greens, at this point, I'll just come in the garden and harvest. But those essays, they'll go in the freezer. That's the good things of having a garden and to grow perennials and allow some edible weeds in your garden because you can eat them. And that's what we harvest. I'll put it here and then we continue. Let me get this one here. And if you want to look closely, you'll see that it's kind of branch out. Has those multiple branches. And if you are trying to identify the plants, don't know if you can see it closely, but yes, that's garlic mustard. So I'm going to get a few more. And that's here I have rhubarb that I transplanted. And garlic bread is all over it, so. 
give it some space here. Now so I'm cutting, I want to make sure I'm not getting other place that I don't want. And so you can see this early that you can even plant pote uh, tomato in our area or uh, summer crop. Now we have those greens in the garden without even having um, a greenhouse. So you can see it here as well. And you can see the deer and bunny, they don't bother it. Although they'll bother some of my plants, if I didn't put in the fence, I didn't put fence around it, they are not bothering this. And that's free food right here. And our bucket is full. Just want to make sure I'm taking other weed out. And I have many plants here. Parsnet is one of them. And that's something dear or bunny. Don't bother. They came back from last year. They are biano. Even garlic mustard is biano as well. So they are in the mustard family. So they grow last fall. And early this spring, they start flowering. They came back, so they start flowering. It seems like, I think they don't even died in winter time. They grow a little bit on the ground. And that the snow. So that's parsnet right here. So let's take this inside and see what we can do with it. And as you can see, I have plenty in the garden. As I show you. And I have it here as well under my persimmon tree that is sleeping and that's a good bunch here as well that I could harvest strip the leaf chop it up and freeze it so since it's nice outside they keep the kids keep, seems to be eating plain quietly without arguing I'll just profit work on this uh -oh. I'm seeing you around <laughs> Yes, so now we are back inside.
and I'm going to work on it so then I'll probably make another recording to show that thank you for watching I'm a fear of Ojune Lieberman creators of Liberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina so I'm not going to make the video long so let's cut this one off and start another one what I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean it up thank you